Okay, well, coming to the um, end of this project, I think. Here's the, uh, this is the main part of the figure. This is what he looks like at this particular time. I've still got to uh, dust things up. I'll come to that in a minute. And this is the axe that he carries with him. Let's see. Let me just fix this light a bit. Okay, that's that. This is a strap that goes on the back of his shield. I've got a pin, actually. Possibly the two handles on that. Then he has a sword. It was just easier to paint all these separately. The sword goes under his arm there. And obviously his shield. Okay, that's how that looks at the moment. Then this is his Draco, the standard. Um, and his hand. I have to paint that as well. And also I think, I mean, I have drilled it for a, uh, a little peg that you can possibly see sticking out there. So I'm going to attach that as well and then paint it. I probably have to do a bit of filling around that uh, just to get it to uh, look as good as it could. Then once everything is assembled, I'm going to use some uh, uh, dusting powder, some weathering powders to uh, unify everything a little bit and because otherwise it might, like his boots say, they look a bit too too new, too new and shiny. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do next and uh, I'll show you that uh, in a minute. Okay, well this next little clip is, uh, I've only just assembled him. Oh, I have some adjustments to make. Like, see his axe there. He doesn't, uh, I couldn't get it to fit in properly. Um, so I wanted to put a little stone or something under there. Make that look right. And also, the way his banner is, is uh, um, somehow when I put his hand on the banner staff, it got twisted around. The banner's meant to go that way. So it flows sort of behind him. Um, but as you can see, it goes off to one side. But it's not a huge thing, but um, it'll make this figure a bit delicate, perhaps, because the banner's hanging over here and there's no, there's no base or anything over there. So I'll have to think about that, maybe. Anyway, let's first look at... Uh, fully assembled figure. See you in a minute. Okay, welcome back again. Here you see I've um, done that last little bit of work on the base. So it's in a, a reasonable state to proceed. Okay, and uh, that's basically the figure finished. Apart from I'm going to use some of this. Uh, Vallejo pigment, natural umber. I'm just gonna brush it on with an old makeup brush. So I'll be back in a minute to show you me doing that. All right, I've put some of the pigment in the uh, in the lid. We don't waste too much. I'm just gonna brush this on, dry brush fashion. Hope you can see that okay, it looks very dark on the camera. Seems okay to me here. A little bit on the shield, make it, make it look dusty. Up there as well maybe. in here I'll 
just boots and just uh, and trouser legs a little bit anyway. Make them look a bit scruffy. They look a bit too new otherwise. to me. They're a bit round there. By the way, I'm wearing a mask because, uh, well, I don't know what, there's any danger from this stuff, but I've got plenty of masks and this is obviously fairly fine dust that's being kicked up here. I like the effect this is having. Just a bit. Maybe this brush is too big to get in everywhere. I don't intend to fix this pigment in any way because uh, every time I've tried that, with everything I've tried it with so far, it just it just doesn't work. It just looks, um, doesn't look good anyway. Looks messy. There's a little bit on there. Get some in all the little cracks and uh, crevices of the base. Make it look natural, I hope. <clears throat> A little bit on the legs handle. This also helps unify all the other colors, at least a little bit anyway. Give them this sort of earth hue. Right, what do you think of that? Can you see that okay? I think that's that part done. So, right, I'll stop there. Mm -hmm.